The swing was so athletic and so sweet. I really don't feel like there's anybody faster, more athletic, more explosive. He makes catches in the outfield that literally no other center fielder is even getting close to. Chris Young here, 13 year veteran. Sean Casey, I played 12 years in Major League Baseball. Jake Peavy, 15 year Major League player. Dan Plesak, 18 years pitched in Major League Baseball. Carlos Pena, I played for 14 seasons in the big leagues. Hands down, Bo Jackson. Freak of nature, I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, and the one thing about him, if you say he can't do something, he'll prove you wrong. If Bo Jackson would have decided to give up football and concentrate only on baseball, there's no doubt in my mind that he would have been a Hall of Fame baseball player. That's how good he was. I remember him hitting a, a ball in Anaheim that was, I couldn't believe how far it was. Hey. He's remarkable, and look at that one. Bo Jackson says hello. He almost hit it out of state. He was a combination of like, the fastest and the biggest dude you've ever seen. I couldn't imagine trying to tackle this guy in a football field. He was like a runaway freight train. The best athlete I've ever seen and I've ever played with is Ken. Ken Griffey Jr. It's like going out and playing with Superman every day. The swing was so athletic and so sweet. Probably the best swing Major League Baseball's ever seen. The best talent in our, in our generation, without a doubt. The most talented swing, the best pure swing in our generation. The way he moved in the outfield, he glided the gaps. It was beautiful the way he would field the ball and the way he could throw. The 99 All-Star game, I was on the field with my video recorder watching Griffey hit his home runs. It was incredible. Oh, Junior is putting on a show now. Next year, he got traded to Cincinnati in 2000. We were all so excited. It literally was Michael Jordan getting traded and coming over to us. Every night, we, get, we go to watch Junior and see the highlights he's doing in Seattle. Now we get to watch it every day, front row. So for me, Ken Griffey Jr. is the best athlete I've ever seen on a baseball field and I've ever played with. It's easy for me. It's Ichiro Suzuki, an absolute gazelle out there uh, on the field. I've never seen anything like it. One of the fastest humans I've ever seen. He was extremely flexible and powerful and explosive, but he made everything look graceful, you know, and easy. I remember him hitting a triple. I was playing first base in Detroit. He hits a ball in the gap and he runs past me. It, it seemed like he was gliding, like it wasn't even, it was like effortless and he was absolutely flying. I don't think he's touching the ground. I was just captivated just watching Ichiro run because it was that impressive. In the outfield, best outfield I've ever seen. Just going after baseballs so easily and gracefully uh, with an unbelievable arm. He got him! Holy smoke, a laser beam strike. Ichiro throws something out of Star Wars down there. He speaks perfect Spanish. He goes, you can tell the pitcher that I'm going on this pitch. In Spanish, it's like, okay, I'm gonna tell him. And I will yell at the pitcher, he's going, he's going stolen base like it's like he told everyone in the park that he was going he told the pitcher he was going he told the catcher he was going you just couldn't stop it it was too fast just hands down the, the most impressive athlete I've seen on a, on a baseball diamond everything athletically that you're looking for a superstar athlete to have you want to have the skill set that Byron Buxton has because that would absolutely translate into any sport if you want to be a football star he could do that if you want to steal 40 bases he could do that if he wants to hit 40 homers he has the ability and the strength and the quick twitch muscles to be able to go out there and be dominant. We have liftoff. My goodness, that was a bomb. He has some kind of power. Watching Byron run is a blur. Like the thunder, fast. There's not too many people in this world that have speed like him. He's an absolute game changer with his speed and athleticism, and uh, it's, it's definitely a weapon, but he, he really is. He's a freak. When the ball goes in the air, deep in the gap. It looks like nobody is nearly in the vicinity to make a catch. He's saying, there's no way he's gonna make it to this ball. But he makes catches in the outfield that literally no other center fielder is even getting close to. There's certain center fielders that change the game by them being out there. Mike Cameron falls into that category. There wasn't anything on a baseball field he could not do. I could compare to anything. It was like MJ when he hit the 6-3s against Portland. 
and they get shrugged his shoulder. That's what I told guys on the bench. I don't know, you know, I'm just putting a good swing on the ball. And the best in the game make plays like this look seemingly pretty easy. That is so difficult to do. When you put a guy like that behind you who covers that left and right center field gap, the ease and the comfort that gives a starting pitcher to throw it in there and let your defense work, I, I can't even tell you what that means. When you pair effort with that kind of athleticism, Mike Cameron, incredible athlete for a lot of teams, also number 44, well represented.